me, baby, you ain't ready for this. Tell me, baby, you just gotta admit. Tell me, baby, who gon' move you like this? Tell me, baby, who gon' love you like this? Tell me, baby, you ain't ready for this. Tell me, baby, you just gotta admit. Tell me, baby, who gon' move you like this? Tell me, baby, who gon' love you like this? All that fake love, which I never had met her. Call up my phone, Uzi just got a debtor. Stuck up on this girl, it was just a letter. I was so dumb that she called it forever. Had to tell her. Hey there you guys, today's wig is brought to you by evilwigs.com. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. Also, if they have any social media links, I'll be sure to leave it in the description box too. As for the order details, the length of this wig I got is 24 inches. The texture is silky, so it's non-yaki. The density of this wig is 150%. Lace color medium brown. I have the cap construction 3A and the hairline, it does not come pre plucked. I had to go in and pluck it myself, but you will see for yourself. Also, when you receive your wig, they send you a few goodies in the box. You get a evil wigs comb, some bobby pins, two wig caps in a coffee color, and also a evil wigs user manual. Here's what the wig looks like straight out of the box. It does come with a shine, but you can always go in and dip down that shine with some dry shampoo if you ever want to wear the wig straight out of the box. Also, the wig comes pre-curled. As for the lace, the lace is Swiss lace, and the knots do not come bleached, and I really don't know what's going on with this middle part. It comes as a middle part, but oh my god, like, this wig needs some TLC. So the wig that I have is a glueless full lace wig. So there is no track stitched onto the wig. Each knot is hand tied to the lace. On the inside the wig, you get three combs kind of in the middle of your head. You also get no comb in the back, but you do get adjustable straps. I actually like the combs in the back more than the combs in the front. So one thing I could say is the coloring is very nice. I like how the black roots fade into the color. It does not have no li harsh line of demarcation. Like I said before, the hairline does not come pre-plucked. Like, it probably comes 1% pre-plucked, but that's pretty much it. So later on off camera, I did not record it, but I should have recorded it because I didn't think it would come out so fire. But now I know to record it from now on. So like I said, later on, I went in, bleached the knots, plucked the hairline, and added some pin curls to the wig. So usually, like always, to cut my virgin hair wigs, I use my zigzag scissors from Amazon. These scissors is really good to cut the hairline, um, the lace off the hairline, because if you use like shears and you just cut it straight, you could have this really harsh line of demarcation with the lace. So usually with zigzags, it actually make it hard to tell. You don't have to buy zigzag scissors. If anything, you could always like kind of do little zigzags with your shears. Either one works, but try not to cut it in a straight line unless it's like probably um, a synthetic wig or something like that.
so the air tabs definitely come longer than my hairline as you can see where my hairline is and where the air tab is so right underneath my hairline where it ends i'm just going to take the tail comb and just part it to the shape of my ear after i part it to the shape of my ear i'm just gonna take my scissors and just cut off that extra air tab After that, the other air tab is a little long too, so I just go on the other side and repeat the same process. So for this hairstyle, because this is just a wig show and tell, I just want to go in with the Got To Be Glue Gel on the baby hairs. I don't want to go in and glue down the hairline because it's just a lot of work, very messy, and I have to take it off for another wig show and tell, so it'll make no sense. So to give you guys the little effect of like as if it was glued down, I'm just going to go in and add the baby hairs. Next I'm going to go in with my Got To Be Glue Free Spray and just by the air tabs alone in front of my hairline, I'm just going to spray a little bit of that free spray just so it can hold the air tabs on. This actually really works. You're not supposed to go ahead and pull your wig and tug your wig now, but it actually could get you through the day. So this right here is pretty much my end results and I really love the color. I love how this came out with the curls. I feel like the curls just make it stand out even more. But even with this wig straight, I feel like it would still be super cute. So tangling, I did get a few snags here and there when I first got the wig and I was combing it out. But 
it's totally fine nothing too bad where it's like whoa i gotta return this so just a few snags that i got out kind of quick as for shedding shedding is medium right now because i did pluck a lot of the hair and this wig i'm not sure how long it will hold the curl because this is just a wig show and tell i'm just giving a cute fall option for you guys like I said before, I did go and I bleached the knots. So when I bleached the knots, of course, I had to wash the hair. So the hair did bleed some of the red out. Not too much red got out, but the hair did bleed. So the tone of red, how it came, is a little more different. To me, this is a little more duller than when it first came. But I like the dull look more than the first one. To me, this gives me like a peachy kind of red tone vibe definitely have me feeling myself ladies <laughs> no lie feel free to let me know your thoughts and i'll get back to them as soon as possible and i'll see you guys in my next video later you guys